Good day everyone. Our lesson for today is about bisectors of triangles. The objective of this lesson is to identify properties of perpendicular and angle bisectors. But before moving on to the lesson proper, let us first define the terms used in the title of the lesson. First is bisectors. Bisectors are mainly lines that divide or cut the figure into two congruent figures. And the triangles, of course, are polygons that has three sides and three angles. So the lesson will be about bisectors of the sides and bisectors of the angles of the triangle and what properties will be formulated on those bisectors. In the first figure, we have triangle ABC with lines X, Y, and Z as the perpendicular bisectors. So side AB has a perpendicular bisector of line X, meaning line X forms a 90 degree angle to this side and line X divides AB into two congruent segments. Therefore, we can say that AX is congruent to BX. Same is true with the second side of this triangle, the side AC. Line Y is a perpendicular bisector of line AC. So it forms a 90 degree angle with this side and it forms two congruent segments which are AY and CY. Also on this side BC, Z is a perpendicular bisector of side BC, therefore this forms a 90 degree with side BC and it divides side BC into two congruent segments. Therefore, segment BZ is congruent to segment ZC. So look at these three perpendicular bisectors. These three perpendicular bisectors that are lines X, Y, and Z meet at a common point. So these three lines are concurrent to each other. What is the meaning of concurrent? Concurrent means three or more lines that meet at a common point. So lines X, Y, and Z are concurrent and they meet at point P. And this point where the three perpendicular bisectors meet is called as the point of concurrency. And that is denoted by the letter P. And this point of concurrency is called as the circumcenter of the triangle. So what is the relationship of this circumcenter to the vertices of the triangles? Here the vertices of the triangles are points A, B, and C. So this circumcenter is in equidistant to the vertices of the triangles. Therefore, P to A is equal to P to B and equals to P to C. So as a conclusion, we can say that segment PA is congruent to segment PB. Also, it is congruent to segment PC. So why do you think this point P is called as a circumcenter? Okay, let's take a look at the term circumcenter. Circum, which is directly related to a circle, which is a circumference. Circumference of a circle means the distance around the circle. So we are going to take this point P as the center and use this point to make a circle around our triangle ABC. So using point P and let's have a vertex B as a radius and it's also A can be a radius and also C can be a radius. So here let us now make a circle using the vertices so as you can see here our triangle is inside the circle and the center is point P so it is like distance or segments PB PA and PC are the radii of our circle P.
also circle P because the circle is named by its center. And point P is also called as a circumcenter because our triangle here using point P as a center will be circumscribed within or inside a circle using its vertices as the radius of this circle P. So let's go to the next figure. In the next figure, we will be showing the angle bisectors of a triangle and what relationship will it make with the sides of the triangles. So here, this is angle B. This line is the angle bisector of angle B since we know that two tick marks, same tick marks denotes that they are congruent. So therefore, this line or segment is the bisector of angle B. Same is true with angle C. This line is the bisector of angle C since this angle with three tick marks is also congruent to this angle with the same number of tick marks. So same with angle A. Angle A is bisected by this segment because this angle is congruent to this angle. So this point where these three angle bisectors of the triangle meet is called as the point of concurrency also. And this point of concurrency of the three angle bisectors has another name. And the name of this point of concurrency is called as in center. So what is the relationship of the point of intersection or the in center to the sides of the triangle? In the first figure, we define the relationship of this circumcenter to the vertices of the triangles. In this case, we are going to find the relationship between the in center to the distance or to the sides of this triangle. So here, the in center is equidistant to the sides of the triangle. Remember, if we are going to find the distance between a point and a line, we need to find the perpendicular line passing through that point. So therefore, we locate point X. When we are going to make or to connect point X and it will pass through point P, this line will be perpendicular to this side. Therefore, this is the distance between point P to side AB. Inside AC, we locate a point Y. When we are going to connect this point Y passing through point P, we are going to have a right angle to side AC. Therefore, PY is the distance between P to side AC. Same with side BC. We have here a point Z connected to point P or our in center and it will create a right angle with this side. Therefore, PZ is the distance between P to Z or to side BC. So what is the relationship between the in center, these three sides? So meaning this P, X, P, Y, and P, Z are congruent to each other. So if you have a ruler, for example, to check whether they are really congruent. So let's see X, P is approximately 2 centimeters. PY is approximately also 2 centimeters. And also PZ is 2 centimeters. So therefore, as a conclusion, we can say that segment PX is congruent 
to segment PZ. And again, it is congruent to segment PY. These three segments are congruent to each other. So now, why do you call this uh, point of uh, intersection between the angle bisectors as an in-center? So from the word in, which means, of course, inside, we are going to use this point P as the center of our circle. So using point P as the center of our circle, and using those points relocated to be congruent, which are the points X, Y, and Z, we are going to use this as the radius of our circle. Okay, so now let's make the circle. So here, as you can see, point P is the center of circle and using PZ, PX, and PY as the radius. And where can you find the circle? The circle is inscribed or inside the triangle. That is why it is called as a center in center. So the circle is inscribed in a triangle. So that is why it is called as an insert in center. So here, as a conclusion, what is the difference between circumcenter and in center? So circumcenter is the point of concurrency between the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the triangle. Wherein the in center is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors of the triangle. Okay, so I hope you understand the lesson. We are open for question and answers for those who are still in doubt. Thank you for watching.